welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're landed here for the very first time. Grand Zone Rick. Hi, this is 18. I'm 18. Okay, so <laughs> the day I think the next day uh, what was released, a lot of you guys DM'd me for not not like reacting to but like uh, letting me know that there's this person who produced the song for SB19 or is one of the producers and his channel name is Sar Sarvida Music it's right in front of me that's why I'm reading it uh, just reacted to my reaction I was like what oh my god <laughs> it's like oh my god so I just went there and of course I haven't seen this video which we are reacting to today because we haven't seen the video yet and I thankfully I did not I just like saw it because I think it was really late at night when I saw the DMs and I was like okay where so I just like skipped through the whole thing to just see uh, if at all he has reacted or you guys were just like making fun of me <laughs> but then at the end it was like for a split second I am on the screen where he is watching me reacting to SB19 oh my god the producer saw me <clears throat> I've made it <laughs> I love it. Uh, I know none of the members have ever commented on me yet. You know, they did on uh, one some reactors channel. But it's okay. You can't have everything. One day, I think they know me at least. Maybe. I don't know. Hopefully they do. I, I love it. Anyway. Anyway, whatever that is. What am I saying? <sighs> and to calm down. Which you all know berries. I can't do that. <laughs> and that's fine normal it's normal it's completely fine anyway so today we'll be reacting to that video and that video says how i produced the number one song in the country sb19 what breakdown let's get it let's get it so i have only seen a split second of him reacting to me and there was this other person i think he only featured like two people like him watching he just saw a lot of reactions on uh, youtube i know that uh, but he saw my reaction. I know that. So that's special. Yeah, it's something. At least I got something out of. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having a mental breakdown. But now we are going to watch this breakdown. Let's get it. Let's just watch it. If I say something more, I'm going to. I'll have to film again because I don't know what I'm speaking. Okay, let's just play. 500k views in three hours? That's Hell me. yeah. That's my name. Hey, okay. Man, What's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Simon Servita. In this Hi, video, Simon. I'm going to show you how I produce the single for the number one boy band in the country. Uh oh. No which country? Philippines. Which is really cool because my ethnicity is Filipino. I was born hey. in Canada, but both my parents are Filipino. The group okay. is called SB19. They're a K-pop group that stands for Pinoy Pop. And the single I yep. helped produce is called What? So I'm going to give you guys what? a really detailed breakdown on the song. And I'm also going to give you guys a behind the scenes on how we worked on it. <gasps> Yay! Okay, let's <laughs> okay. take a look. Now this was easily one of the most challenging projects I've ever had to work on. For oh. a lot of reasons, we'll get into that later. But let's start at the beginning. Okay. How did I get the opportunity? There is a member on this group called Pablo. This is... Oh, uh, yes. He does a bit of production Hi, himself, Pablo. so I guess he stumbled across a couple of my YouTube videos. <gasps> wow. And he reached out to me. He was like, what's up? I said, what's up? Oh, wow. So, something? I said, well, maybe, perhaps. For the Lucky. workflow, it was a lot of back and forth. Together. And then on occasion, I'd get on a Zoom call with him wow. and his Here's what Pablo sent me at the very wow. beginning. We just started with the demo file. So all we have here is the top line People, and the wow. under it. <laughs> On this note, I want to say, I just hope this one like doesn't block my video. Yes. So many of us reactors had to have like so much done just to upload the video. It is actually sickening and sad at the same time because... As you always say, it's okay to claim, but why do you block the video? <laughs> we are just hel here helping out our babies, like, get the world domination they deserve. That's it. I know I said that when I was reacting to the What Music video, that I hope it really goes easily. Um, I did have to edit some parts out from, like, the latter part of the video. After it went, I did get partially blocked. I said that before. And I think I was one of the first one to actually upload the video out of our um, SB19 ho so far. <laughs> All the fun for a uh, ho far. Wait, what exactly how do you pronounce that? 
basically us who are like uh, foreign reactors of SB19, we have a group on Twitter. So I just mentioned it there, you know, be careful. It's blocking your video. I'm partially blocked. And after me, there were like numerous messages which kept on saying they're getting blocked no matter what they try. And it's really sad. I mean, they had to it like four to five times just to like put, a, put up a reaction video for someone they really love for a very, very long time. And there have been so many other reactors who can who were able to post the video for some reason, I don't know how. And probably they were watching them for the first time. So this one is scary to me, but I'm gonna keep stopping like in between so it doesn't really affect my channel in any way. I just hope it doesn't really affect any other reactors too because we are all here just trying to spread the word for SB19. Nothing, we're not, we're not claiming anything for ourselves. Yeah, play. Oh my god. But, <laughs> this, we want, this, this needs to be done. That's the whole, this is the only reason like the video is gonna go, by the way. It's sad, but yeah. Anyway, I've seen like a lot, a lot of new reactors reacting them and so many new people coming in the fandom. I just want to hope one more thing in this, like I hope our fandom remains as close-knit and um, humble as we are. I would love more people to come in, but I don't want to swarm in weird people in the fandom because that happens when someone gets huge. And not always, not always actually. I know our boys are very humble and very down to earth and they always teach us how to respect people but I just hope that our fandom stays the way it is right now even when we like reach you know Oscars or something like that yeah we will <laughs> so yeah I, I hope that <sighs> let's go to be completely honest I don't know what to say <laughs> I'm Filipino I thought I knew Tagalog Wait. but looking back apparently I only know Tagalog that's used in the house oh Oi, halika dito kurutin kita Bangit mo. <laughs> so if somebody can translate this, I'd really appreciate it. There's actually a switch up in the song, so it goes from 112 BPM to 112, mm. then 96. Mm. Immediately off tempo. I never had to work on a song with a tempo change before, so this was this okay. Was We're gonna just try to flesh this out because I listened to this once, and I'm already really, really stuck. Like, how do we get back there? That's a, what? And then the chorus, 96. Oh, I don't know how to do this. Okay, just to let you know, like I've said this before as well, like I'm a performer, I'm an artist myself, but me as a person who I understand music as a performer, I'm a dance instructor, I'm a senior dance instructor in my academy, I have been dancing since I was in senior KJ. I know a I have given my exams for dancing and everything like that. I've like learned it both profession like I've learned it professionally but both theory and practical at the same time. So I I'm so good at performing and I can like definitely judge someone with the perform performance thing. But when it comes to music, like soul music, production and like singing, I'm not very good at that, so I always like refrain from saying a lot of technical stuff. So I'm really loving it. I'm learning a lot of new things here, so Thumbs up to that. Thank you so much for making the video. Yeah. And the song is so catchy though. I haven't stopped listening to it at all. This is the more hip hop y part. I don't know if this is supposed to be the rock okay. part. So I sent him that first idea and it was pretty much wrong. <laughs> so I had the hip hop and the rock part switched around. He said it should be similar to Wheel of okay. Rock. Okay. Like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So once I realized it was switched the wrong way, then I knew mm -hmm. it was more rock inspired. <laughs> now we have the electric guitars. Okay, I like it. And then I'm also trying to like keep it a little bit modern, so I use more hip hop sounding drums. I like it. We ended up using a lot of this for the end of the song. But yeah. The first chorus, pause. Second chorus, pause. Oh my god. Bridge chorus, pause, and then another chorus with continuous beat, like the half happy one. It's funny because you probably heard me and a bunch of other producers say, "Simplicity is key. Keep it simple." No. Too no. Always. But for them, it's the complete opposite. <laughs> they want everything. They yes. For a lot more complexity, which is like really yes. refreshing. 
Pablo told me usually in K-pop and group songs, whenever there's a change in member, then there's also a change in sound. So for this group, there's like five members, so we're really changing it up every that's eight nice. bars so. There's See, that's... wait. Good. Was when I say it. <laughs> Okay, that's what I that's why I said it while watching what as well. Like for me, this is very important if I'm watching a group. Uh, I love to see their individuality, but yet I w would love to see them together and I should still make it out as a group. I wouldn't name anybody, but I know a lot of groups, at least around right now, who are amazing individually and have like really individual fandoms and stuff like that. But when they come together, I don't really see an effect as a group in them while that's really amazing that they actually went for it like individually they come out really really great and even though you have a bias I said the same words even though you have a bias you still look at everybody because everybody's so good and so in their element but when they come together the chemistry of SV19 is as strong as possible that's the best thing ever I love it I love it that they also have the same thought in their mind while making the same thing I love it you can go crazy because we actually need something to dance to. Oh, yeah. I'm giving you the perks, I'm giving you the fills, I'm giving you the slides just so that they can... I, I love his... Uh, I love the way he expresses. Some of these demos. It's fun. I also had a lot of trouble figuring out the verses. Just because the tempo 112 is in this weird spot where it can sound good either half-timed or double-timed, it can be slow like this. Or we can make that twice as fast with something like this. I like it. Let me show okay. You some of the oh, yeah. Oh, this attempt was weird. Listen to this one. I love all of them. They all look amazing. Class. <laughs> Hey. So it was around 10 arrangements, and I think at around arrangement 5 is when we had a good idea of what the song sounds like. Okay. And then after that, it was just fine-tuning, fine-tuning, fine-tuning. Mm -hmm. For the verse, we ended up going with this really spaced-out brass melody. Bomb. Yeah, that was this high lead thing. I love this. I love this video. Thank you but so much for this video. I seriously love this video. Not the Oh. Same pattern as this one. The Hi. This one is oh, Josh is now visible. Like, cut, cut. The this one, one, like, it's Pablo's brother, right? This is insane. I love this. The making is like, wow. And then during the second half of the verse, we have the brass melody that does a lot more. I don't know, for some reason, the start of this reminded me of something. Mm -hmm. this, that, that thing, maybe it's the starting of some other song. I don't really know. I, I, I've heard that a lot. I don't know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That part. I don't know where I've heard it, but I've heard it a lot. That, this is that part. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> this is that part. I don't know where. I'm like trying to figure it out right now, but I, let's see if I do. And if you do before me, let me know. Like Capital Siren. The drums are doing a lot more as well. This is so good. This is so good. Like when. For the uh, second verse. Why? Thank you for stopping. I hate you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Better. When we usually have our um, shows, I don't understand why my. In As I said, I'm a performer. I am a senior instructor in a dance academy. When we have our annual shows, um, of course, we choreograph everything. We edit uh, the songs. We go to the producer. We go to the editor, the person who does all the mixing of the sound. And of course, we have like every. You need to have that, you know, imagination as to how much sounds you want, what kind of beats do you want, where do you want, because that's how we choreograph our stuff. And then. Of course, we uh, choreograph it that way, we teach them, and then we go to the editor, we go to the 
producer and tell them this is where we want the beats this is where we want the gun sounds this is where we want this much at this to this point you know i do all of them as well so this is really interesting for me to see as well that how it unveils in a way because behind process can be i think at the, at some point are uh, really uh, boring but if you understand what's going on uh, it can be really really interesting because you know that's how everybody does it and i really really enjoy going to the producer or going to the editor whoever like does all those things because we take our notes there to say oh no we want this right here then we hear the sound like no i think this can be better this way so you know it's it's, it's similar to that so i really really enjoy this i really love this i i'm learning a lot as well more because of this i love this video it's going to be a very very long as video but we're going to keep it that way i don't know how much will you see but yeah oh that's my bell like <laughs> this okay there's some problem with my laptop now the grass and mm -hmm. instead we just replace mm -hmm. it with wait i get it mm hmm mm hmm this name god's menu start yes i'm telling you i heard it somewhere about okay every single percussion known to man <laughs> This thing. Hey. Percussion loops. More percussion loops. Glass thingies. Snare stuff. Okay, the they want everything. I get it. Hi hats. More hi hats. Some really glitchy toms. More percussion. <laughs> more fills. And then during the second half, it's like the first verse. Here's an example of the workflow. So I just send him a Dropbox link with the okay. song. And then he just sends me back a list of notes. Make it sound grimy. Maybe try a new melody. Maybe put in a new instrument. I know. Uh, I love that. Yeah, it's very really similar to what we do, but like in a complete different genre. For us, that it should be really big and kind of cinematic. So I added these massive, massive toms to just kind okay, of drive. Okay, let's see. I love it. I see what Pablo is thinking as well. Everything it's grand. Like it's majestic. Down. Hey, I do prefer majestic sound over okay. anything too. Oh, then the fillers though. For the intro, they wanted the main melody of the hook, but that turned into this big. Oh, we have add three, idea. two, I think this was the first one. Time. We don't skip ads, and you know where I have add. I do three, two, one, and <laughs> I have a kind of dimple here. Right now, it's not showing. I still have it. Okay, I have a dimple. <laughs> okay, it's over. Wait. Playing. They literally made a song on the end. Like, said it wow. sounded a bit too happy. It should be a lot darker. So what okay. I did instead is oh, like, yeah. I kind of rewrote the melody so that it sounded a bit darker. The original melody is like this. <laughs> I agree. The mood is kind of the vibe is happier. And then what I did was <gasps> I go as well. Wait, I feel it. And then we just put that on a bunch of horns. Oh yeah. Well, at this point, I feel like I want to learn music producing. It's very tough, but it just intrigues me. I love it. And then just some marching band style drums to go with. And one of the reasons this was such a difficult project was because I was being stupid. As you saw before, we went through <laughs> As a bunch usual, of that's how you say different it. demos. And since I'm so lazy, instead of deleting all these instruments, Sorry. I just kept adding them onto the project. And then it was just this big file where there's too many plugins and there's too many sounds and every single track in my mixer chain is used up. It was just a lot of me wasting time waiting for stuff to load and then it ended up crashing and I'd lose entire hours just trying oh, to render stuff out. Oh my it god. a lot of this. A little blue circle and just pray uh, that it doesn't crash. Because that's really ugh, annoying and frustrating. I understand. I don't think this when we help. edit and there are a lot yeah, of things like you put at the same time, <laughs> it doesn't come out and you have to do everything again. Oh, the dance break was solid. Solid. The 
drum groove was pretty much there. It was mainly just finding what's going to be on the top melody. What is okay. This one? Oh, this one. I like this one. Hey. <laughs> I love the caption that he puts. Oh, this one is hard. The whole song was fantastic. I absolutely loved it. To me, it's the best song to love. Drum arrangement. I ended up doing this thing where it's like the first half is trap, and then the second half is more of like a reggaeton deal. And then there's a bunch of weird like fails on this one. Yeah, like this melody was cool, but it didn't sound like anything from the rest of the song. So we decided that it should kind of sound similar to the intro I made. Ah. Oh, yes. New horn melody. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no copyright song. Yeah. No copyright song yeah. over here. <laughs> After that, we have like these high horns that come in. High horns? High horns? In the no copyright song. Okay, okay. No copyright song through the dance. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, uh, so we go back and forth, back and forth, drop, drop, on. oh, little changes, little changes until we got to like the final product. Let's check the info really quickly 91 hours and 45 minutes. Are you insane? Wow, it's like, but it worked out so fine. I mean, 24, 48. Math is very hard. It's almost four entire days. They got it sent for mixing, and then they gave it back to me to do a bit of the final mix, and then it got sent off to mastering, and that was everything Ooh. for my end. And here we are, the premiere day. I haven't seen this yet. 500k views in Yay. three hours. That's me. That's my name. Let's go. Oh my god, I have to keep pausing the sun because I'm really scared. The video and the audio, they both have their problems. <laughs> but it was incredible. Incredible. Super. I'm very, very happy with the comeback. It's like, not happy, I would say, like, overwhelmed. I love it. More than anything. You made this. No <laughs> way. Man, I don't even... I it's know. It's kind of hard to believe right now. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's been three hours. Look at all these reactions. Oh, yeah. That's I me. I watch all of these. This is going to take up my whole day. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Your fan base is insane. That's me. <laughs> Guys, are you, how come you yeah. guys don't do this for my videos? Yeah, that's gonna be the end of this I will, I will do it for I your video. Oh. Say, it hasn't really sunk in yet. <laughs> this is like the biggest project I've ever been a part of. Yeah, it doesn't. But you worked really hard. Work. I have to give a so big thank you Pablo for giving me the opportunity. Shout out to everybody who worked on it. If you want to see the full video, that's gonna be in the description. Just do a little favor for me and blow it up. If you're wondering if we're gonna work it again, will blow the up. only thing I can say is, maybe. I'm gonna watch more reactions now. Hey, if you have any suggestions, leave a comment. If you like this video, leave a He's like. Cute. If you really like this video, subscribe. If you didn't like this video, I did. <laughs> I like it. Wait, wait, I'm gonna, wait, I'm wait, gonna wait. use I it. Always. Sorry, I'm gonna use this. it. Do a little of this. Go to it. Little smirk emoji. Well, <laughs> keep it real subtle. <laughs> like I'm so damn cool. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I just made this song. If Did you made the song, you are cool. You are very cool. It's not gonna stop when I say it's gonna stop, so <sighs> I need to like keep pressing it again and again. Again. Okay. As we thought this was going to be a long video because I had a lot of inputs to put in, but I really enjoyed this. For some reason, I just want to like know more about it now. This is so interesting and I just want to learn more, that's it. Maybe I was just a curious person and that's the whole reason. Or maybe it's SB19 or I don't know. <laughs> I really, really enjoyed this and maybe you did too and my blabbering. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, bye. Love you.